So he said, I have killed 30. My, I'll call myself Tis Markha, 30, 30 Pila. So he called himself Tis Markha, moving everywhere, I am Tis Markha. And he was, his wife said, you are talking too much. Why? In the morning, people came and they saw uh, Tismarkha sitting on the tree and the lion there with the rope around its neck and can't run away. So they, the people took the people took this Markha to the king. If twos are company and threes are crowd, what are four and five? Two is company, three is crowd. What are four and five? That's the riddle for today. Hello everyone, welcome to my Card RG, card game, seven hand challenge trump. Seven hand challenge trump. I have been telling you a lot of things about our farm. We were working hard on our farm, and my father <coughs> used to say, Tu chal mai aata hu, neem ke cha me baita hu, chilam tamaku pita hu. Chutu chal mai aata hu. Father used to say that recitation. That was father's rest. And in those days, our parents didn't have many stories to tell us. And as I have been telling, <coughs> we didn't have radio, television, <coughs> and they had few stories which they used to tell us from time to time. They had very few stories, and one of the stories was about this Mar Khan. How many of you have heard the story of this Mar Khan? I, I, my parents used to tell us, so I'm going to tell you story of this Mar Khan. There was a lazy man very lazy. He never wanted to do any hard work. And his wife always told him to go and work, but he was very lazy. One day he was eating his roti and he wanted to eat it with uh, honey on it. So he spread honey on his roti and then he started eating uh, but somebody called him. While he was eating, his mother called him. And uh, he put his uh, roti there where he was sitting and he went to see his mother. When he came back, when he came back to eat his roti, there were some flies stuck to the honey. Then he counted, he counted all the flies and there were 30 flies, 30. In uh, Hindi, 30 is this. So he said, I have killed 30. My, I'll call myself this Markha, 30, 30 Pila. So he called himself this Markha, moving everywhere, I am this Markha. And he was, his wife said, you are talking too much. Why don't you go and find some work in the in the city? Go and find some work and get some money for us. So she made some laddus. Remember, I've been telling you about um, satua. Satua. We had uh, satua made from. Uh, seven grains, seven seeds. You make you fry the seeds, then you have to uh, make that into flour, 
grind in that uh, jata we had, the grinding thing, we grind in that and then um, we make satua. Satua, satua you, we mix with little bit of sugar, milk and then we can um, we can make laddu, satua laddu. So she made satua laddu for her husband, for this marka. She made seven laddus, seven balls, seven protein balls. It's satua laddu, we can call it protein balls. She made seven and she gave it to this marka and told him to go and find some job in the next city. So this Markha had to walk because in those days there were no vehicles. So he kept walking and walking and walking. Then he got hungry. He sat in one place. Then he took out his uh, laddus and he said, should I eat one, should I eat two, should I eat three, or four, or five, or six, or all seven, should I eat all seven? He was deciding because he was lazy person, he didn't know what to do. While he was saying that, there from a, from the hole, from a hole in the ground, a small man came out of. He said, please don't eat any of us. I will give you one magic pot from that magic pot you can get good food and you can eat that good food and don't eat us. So this Makha was very happy, he thought he won't have to eat the ladus, he will eat good food. So he took the pot, got some nice food, yummy food and ate and then he moved on. He moved on. Then by the time he reached the city, it was getting dark and it got dark and there was, it was raining. So he go, went and he stood beside one old lady's house and the old lady inside the house was saying, I am not afraid of the lion who comes around, but I am more afraid of the tip tip -wa. And tip tip was she meant the rain falling on the roof, making the noise tip tip tip. And she said, I am more afraid of tip tip wa. So the line was also there. The one line used to come around the village looking for food. And the line thought there was somebody stronger than him called tip tip wa. So the line was afraid standing there, uh, trying to be out of rain, and this Markha also standing there. Then this Markha saw the line, he thought it was a goat. And he said, oh, I can catch this goat. I'll sell it tomorrow to buy, to, to get some money. So he found a rope. He tied one end to the lion's neck, another to the tree and then he climbed the tree and sat on the tree waiting for the morning. In the morning, in the morning, people came and they saw uh, this Markha sitting on the tree and the lion there with the rope around its neck and can't run away. So, they, the people took the people took this marka to the king and they told the king that this marka had caught the lion. He's very strong man and king was very happy. He said, I'll make you leader of my army. So he took this marka uh, to the stable where horses were he said, you choose one horse, you have to go and fight the, fight our enemy, 
the enemies are waiting on the other side of the forest you have to go and fight them you are very strong men you take all the other soldiers with you and go and find fight with them and this uh, this marka was very much frightened he had never ridden a horse and he looked at the horses he saw one of the horses was trying to sleep so he thought that must be very lazy horse so he chose that horse and they every they put him on the horse he was, had never ridden a horse so they put him on the horse and told him where the enemies were camping and then the horse started running the horse left everybody behind and kept running and this marka was very much frightened and he kept on saying drop me where there is soft soil drop me where is soft soil jahan gire wah gili mati hindi jahan gile wah giri mati peaceful jagah girana he was saying in hindi so he was praying that he the horse of makes him fall on a soft soil and he was making so much noise that the enemies who were camping thought a lot of people were coming on horseback and they left the camp and ran away those enemies ran away when uh, this marka arrived at the camp nobody was there and the other soldiers came behind him they saw that the enemies had run away and they thought this marka had made everybody run away and they took the took this marka to king king was very happy king gave him a lot of money and this marka went back home happily so he, that was a story our parents used to tell us i must have our grandparents must have brought those stories from stories from india when they came so one of the few stories was about this marka story of this marka so that was the story of this marka we often had when we were very small my rhyme that was the story and the riddle for today a uh, riddle answer i will tell uh, what can travel all over the world without leaving its corner what can travel all over the world without leaving its corner and the answer is i stamp the stamp you put on the corner of an envelope and today's uh, riddle is if twos are company and threes are crowd what are four and five two is company three is crowd what are four and five that's the riddle for today and my rhyme for today who we used to play say a rhyme in action song sit around and say the rhyme and our my rhyme is today is who stole the cookie from the cookie jar lauren stole the cookie from the cookie jar who me yes you couldn't be then who melvin stole the cookie from the cookie jar who me yes you couldn't be then who ethan stole the cookie from the cookie jar who me yes you couldn't be then who ryan stole the cookie from the cookie jar who me yes you couldn't be then who karen stole the cookie from the cookie jar who me yes you couldn't be then who Cheryl stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? Nista stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then who? 
Nicholas called a cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be? Then who? Nobody stole the cookie from the cookie jar. We used to sit in circles, clap and sing songs and take other people's name that they stole the cookie. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.